So I'm talking today to Patrick Sims from Huawei. Patrick, what is the IODN? Ah, glad you asked that, Graham. The IODN typically stands for, the I is the intelligent, intelligent optical distribution network. It's a method in which uh, we're able to take the architecture and we used to put everything on paper and spreadsheets. Now we're able to incorporate it into a software and hardware together that allows the carriers today to keep track of their fiber. This is critically important uh, for deployment strategies, mainly because today when we're dealing with the access network, we're dealing with millions of fibers, not just hundreds of thousands of fibers. We're dealing with millions of fibers. So does it work with any kind of fiber or fiber access system? Typically, uh, the IODN, we start in the central office with a thing called the IODF, the Intelligent Optical Distribution Frame. These frames, it really does not matter whether I'm using uh, single mode fiber or multi-mode fiber because we're not using the intelligence in the fiber itself, but it's the adapters that the fiber actually plugs into. So I can, I can use uh, with, with the Huawei IODF frames today, it, I can use any fiber. So I'm guessing the main claim you're making for this is that it improves OPEX. Do you have any field data to support that? In the short term, we're finding that 20% uh, 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 reduction in uh, the actual deployment time uh, is taken using the IODN strategies and the IODFs. Uh, in particular, uh, the long-term strategy uh, is, is based upon the OPEX for troubleshooting, maintenance, uh, and actually deployment strategies far out into the outside plant itself. So has it been deployed anywhere and what kind of impact have you seen as a result? I'm glad you asked that because uh, uh, many carriers are not aware that Huawei has uh, an ODN strategy and we've actually been uh, doing the ODN for the past uh, five years very extensively. Uh, Qatar, uh, China Telecom, um, some of these deployments, uh, and we'll just take uh, China Telecom for example, the intelligent ODN has been deployed in China for the past two years and we've passed approximately 10 million homes today with our IODN strategy. Uh, we are continuing to grow and to push uh, the IODN in the China Telecom space. Uh, by, the time, by next year, 2013, we'll have passed 20 million homes. Um, with Qatar, uh, we were able to help Qatar build and actually design their network within two weeks and then start building and implementing using the IODN. So we know that telcos are very keen on standards. Are you making any attempt to get the IODN system standardized? We're actually uh, leading the way. And this, this today, uh, many of the companies are actually trying to do the intelligent ODN, the intelligent ODF. Uh, and what we found is they all have their own flavor of how to do this. And so one of the questions that is asked of me is, uh, is it interoperable? Is Huawei's system interoperable with anybody else's? And realistically it is. And part of the standards that we're using today is the ITU Study Group 15. And we don't talk about it as the IODN, but the intelligent network, the intelligent optical distribution. Patrick, thank you very much.